Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to have some fun today with our mystical sprays. Now a few of you have messaged me when we used our mysticals recently. You messaged me and you said you hadn't been using them. And a couple of you, I'm not going to name in shame, but you said you'd got them and hadn't used them. Now, just before we start, as you know, Eric, last time we were having our little chat and get together yesterday, he was sat right under my chair. So I've come into my craft room early today to record this catch up. And guess what? He's under my chair and I've just taken a photograph on my camera to show you. So I'm sat here and yes, that's the jeans, my leg. And he's here, look, and he's literally right under my chair. So I'm going to be at a funny angle to catch up with you. But this is how he lies. So when I say a spritzing with water and I use my floor to obviously put things on. Yes, they do go next to him. So if I get the odd Labrador hair, do excuse me, because Eric really is my crafty companion. But a couple of you asked, so if you're not interested in dogs, I'm sorry, just fast forward that bit. So back to today. Um, I'll move that to one side and we'll go through those in a minute. The Mysticals are a mica-based spray, water-based. And when you get them, they're just a powder in the container. And on the side, it will say, add water to this level. So all you do is take the top off, add some water and give it a gentle shake. And that way you will make yourself the most fabulous spray. Now, you can, depending on how much room you've got to store them if you store them standing up the mica will settle at the base there is a line of thought to store them on the side that way the mica is over a larger area so when you do shake them the mica dissolves quicker and distributes quicker but do you know what i worry that mine will leak so i have to be honest mine are stood up and I literally, before I use them, just give them a gentle, I tend not to shake them up and down. I, th I think for me, that's not a good action. Um, for me, just gentle sort of doing this. But you know what? Like I always say, you go with what, what you find best. I also, when I finished with mine, I like to just go to my sink in my, in my utility room and I just pop the end in some water and spritz it onto either kitchen towel or just into the sink it's water-based just so I clean this because of the mica now again some crafters find they don't need to and they never clog up which is is, is great so you just do with however you know whatever method works for you all I can do is pass on hints and tips and you know what if they work for you you use them if they don't just ignore me you know I always say I did get a comment the other day of somebody saying I wasn't a very good mix media teacher and you know what I've never I, I don't I don't even know where the comment came from because I would never pretend I, do you know what I'm not I don't do mixed media art at all I'm you know I'm just a crafter who comes on here and passes on information I mean there are some fabulous mixed media tutors out there I mean Lisa Taggart is just amazing and there's no way I could do what she does I'm not trained like her I don't I don't know do you know what I'm just a crafter who's lucky that I can play with these products and come here and come into your house and I'm lucky that you invite me in and we have our brew and Bicky together and we have fun so do you know what but I have to say the comment did really upset me. But you know what? We get them, don't we? So enough of that. So as I say, however these work for you, you store them the way you find best. Um, and you know, if you've got a tip on here about something like this, by all means, add your comment because we learn from each other. And that's the beauty of what I love about the Lavinia family is we are all happy to learn from each other. So anyway, as you know, the Mysticals, we, we've got video tutorials where we've put them on the gel press sprayed them we've done backgrounds where we spritz them um i love to put mine on my acrylic block and then paint with it so remember you can paint with them so it got me thinking you wanted another another thing to do and again like i say my little uh, brain got playing and i thought the water based now remember a while ago we did a technique with our acrylic block where you take the acrylic block let me get a better size one sorry for stretching across you you take your acrylic block put a dye based ink on it it can be your distress ink your element sink spritz it with water and we make a background and i thought if we do that with our inks we can use it with our water based our dye based sprays so that's what i did and look 
you get the most we'll make one in a minute but i just want to show you you get the most fabulous backgrounds what i will say though for me it was such fun so and again if your mojo's gone this is great because it is great fun have a stack of card ready because you're gonna love it change the colors and do you know what if you get marks on the the outside doesn't matter you can either chop it down always work on a bigger area or you can incorporate that into the design I mean, I love this because I've got the white spaces. I just varied my colours, look. And look at the sheen. Because of the mica, you get such a fabulous sheen. And I just found, I played and played. And I was just thinking of all, I mean, this, I think that is just a rain cloud for me. And I just want to put some animals under here. And do you know what? Or you know what you could have it that way and that could i could actually then make this as the base counter oh that might be nice although does that look like no i like it that way so again that's the fun of when you've made your backgrounds and often if you need a card or you need a design you've got a new stamp and you don't know what to do with it ready-made backgrounds are great i love this one too and remember, we have different size and shapes of acrylic blocks, don't we? So this one, look, was my, my smaller block. And again, I love, I'm thinking I could sit a fairy on there and make this into like a rock. So there are so many, and I love this white space. I had to add a few of my mystical, some splatters. So for me, that is just a perfect ready-made background. But what I was excited about... You know, I, I get silly. I have one of these blocks and I love this because I love panel cards, as you know. And I'm thinking I could actually make a ready-made panel card background. So I did look. Now, again, for me, now I don't know which way. See, I could have, or I could have it as the ocean, maybe. But I like it that way of something growing up, look. Almost looks like a cactus. And then I've got the sky. But panel cards, I just think, I think I made a couple of these, yes, look. Now, that again, that one, we could have it that way. Sorry, I don't know if that one was in shot. I seem to have got longer arms today. I think it's because I'm sat funny because Eric's under my chair. So if any of those went out of shot, I do apologise. Please don't tell me off. So I'm thinking that, well, actually, I think that would look nice that way. And I wouldn't need a lot of stamping. And, you know, silhouettes work fabulously for this. Oh, do you know what? I'm thinking the beautiful um, wild flower. Now, actually, I've got that on my desk. Let me just have a look. And again, your acetate's perfect for this. Do you know what? You could even bring it out of the image. Maybe one there with a sentiment and then some... Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm going to have to go and stamp that after. So anyway, the background, so easy. First thing to do, choose your acrylic block. Should, should I have a go with a smaller one? Now, one thing I will say is, for me, I have quite a bit of kitchen towel around and my inky binky. And we'll have a piece of card ready. But I tend to put mine out of shot because when I start spritzing, if I'm not careful, it can go everywhere. <laughs> I do get a bit messy. So let's have a look. Should we choose a couple of colours? We'll go, I love this. This is Blue Moon. I do tend to favour this one. And I like it with my green, this amble, amble green. Oh, I definitely need easy names. <laughs> so again, just a bit of a shake. Look, it doesn't take much and it's all dissolved. That's my Fruit Sorbet. And the other one I use a lot, Chestnut Bay. But I think we'll go, we'll go for these two. Now... When you're playing, I'll just put a couple of there and we'll go a couple here. Now, again, when you're playing, you'll decide exactly what you want to do. So, for instance, if... Let me just mop that up there. If we just take it straight away, piece of card, turn it round, it's going to splodge look. So... That doesn't matter. We can incorporate that in the design or we can cut that down. I need to show you exactly the pitfalls so that you can see. And when you lift it up, look, you can almost wiggle it. Now, if you wanted, 
You could mop that up, but you know what? I'm going to bring my puffer in and I'm going to make that as though it's part of the design. I'm going to use that just because, and I'm actually going to puff. This is going to be a funky background, isn't it? Because there's no such thing as, you know, an accident. We make it into, and I think when this is dry. Now, this is the puffer that quite often we use with the alcohol inks. We've got it on the website, and it's fabulous with these. So look at that. Because I made a bit of a drip, I'm just going to make that. I can't wait to use that. When that dries, look, I might even have it that way. So what you can do if you don't want that to happen is obviously if you've got a larger block maybe just put less right let's put less of our mysticals on and let's just move them around on the block now again you can add water if you want but this time let's take the card to the block and that way we won't get any drips but for me, you can't see exactly where the block is going, which is why I tend to work on a larger piece so that I can trim that round. So again, you get a much, we've not got the dribbles look, but again, we've got white space. Now, if you like white space, which I do, that is great because I could add ink over the top as well. Remember, when it's dry, you can come in with your element sinks and I could even make a landscape. I could add my moon mask, my circle mask. So it's all about just having fun. So we'll use one of the larger ones. And let's come in. And like I say, for me, I nearly spritz that up at the camera then, did you notice? check which way it is before I spritz it again gentle shake and it just brings in so many things that I can do with my sprays and when I'm thinking ready-made backgrounds so let's just see what happens if we add spritz of water and have fun try different amounts of water and I'm going to add this at the base here. Like I say, you really do need a good amount of card because you'll start doing it and you'll think, oh, I like that colour combination. No, I like that colour combination. And it's just your acrylic block. Right, let's see what we've got with this one. Now again, I oh, imagine when that dries. You could put a stencil over the top and add more ink. Seriously, there are so many things you can do, but it is just a fun, a great way to make backgrounds. Let's put that over there. Let's give this a wipe, just so we've got a cleanish area. But I am sure you lovely crafters are going to have such a fabulous time. And as I say, this is a great tool to use. I mean, like I say... The backgrounds so think of your different acrylic blocks that you've got and how you can make different backgrounds i mean I, I do love that i've got to be honest i can't wait to use that and what you'll find is put all these to one side let them dry and i know you're going to say to me what can you do so i just took one of mine last night and i stamped it up to show you so on here i've used the oak leaf branch and again, I just find silhouettes work quite well. And you know what? Often men's cards, I'm sorry men. And so those male crafters out there who are watching this, please, I do apologise. But you can be difficult to make cards for. Certainly for me, I find it much easier. For, I find there is more variety for me for females. So I do apologise, but I do find it a bit tricky. And I don't want to just go down the, the trees route. I mean, trees are fabulous. I mean, we're lucky at Lavinia because we've got animals. But I just thought the oak leaf branch would fit perfectly on there, look. And it fits in that size. And again, your acetate is perfect to try it out. And look, 
So all I did there, and I've actually just used the shape. Now I could have put a black line around there if I wanted, but I, I liked it just as it was. But it just shows if you need a quick card, you can then stamp. And we have got so many stamps that would work well. As I say, for me, I do favour the silhouettes. I find they stand out better. I mean, I did wonder to have one of another little leaf just popping down here, which again, I could have done. And, and what's good is it just starts you. You see, I looked at my, um, my oak leaves and I'm thinking this little one here, I could have just popped that down there like it was floating, but I didn't. But what's good is it gets your imagination going. And just from, you know, some a couple of sprays, you block some card, I've created that. But more importantly, it's got my crafty juices flowing. And I'm thinking of all the things I can add, all the bits I can do. And as I say, we've got so many stamps that would work really well. I mean, again, I picked out my pheasant stamp and I'm thinking, do you know what? That would work well. So let me have a look. So one of the ones we've done today, look. Turn him the right way. I'm just thinking I could put him there. And look at that, then I could put the circle mask. And that for me would be a beautiful card. Just trim it a little. Or I've got some blue splats there. Maybe me, I'd add some blue splats there. Honestly, you're going to have so much fun got to stop but this is what happens at home and I just want you to have the same amount of fun and excitement as I do with these products so please get your mysticals out and have a play with them and the two ladies who commented and you know who you are please get yours off the shelf and have a play and make some backgrounds and then go through your stamps and stamp them up it's a great way of looking through your stamps and I know as crafters, we tend to do a bit of tidying while we're looking through our stamps. So that's not a bad thing, is it? So I'll just bring those two in today and leave those on the screen. So I hope you have fun. And would you believe Eric hasn't moved at all? The whole time we've been together, he's still in that same position. <clears throat> so I'll see you again next week. Have a lovely weekend. You take care, everybody. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.